Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome to a new uh, show that we just thought we'd give off a one-off special. Um, it's really going to be talking about, col it's going to be collector's talk. We're going to be talking about other things apart from, as we know, we, we do the show Hot Toys Talk. We thought we'd do something a wee bit different <clears throat> um, and talk about other things. Because me and Tom don't only just collect Hot Toys. Hot Toys is one of our most... Uh, things that we do collect, but we, we like to collect other things as well. So, stay tuned. Yep. Anyway guys, we thought we'd talk about certain other uh, figures that we talk about, like NECA, we'll talk about Diamond Select, Mezco, even Sideshow. Sideshow. We'll talk about even statues or or whatever it is you collect. We'll even talk about that. Whatever figures or Etten Bar Hot Toys. We thought we'd take a time, do a special uh, one-off yep. show and talk about other things um, that we do collect. Mostly NECA. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't really collect Sideshow, but we can talk about Blitzway. Uh, the new Ghostbusters figures that we, we will be wanting to pick up. That's This is where we're going to be talking about them. So, um, yeah, I may as well straight off about talk about NECA. Is, uh, for those that don't know who NECA is, NECA is a company that make... Uh, they do a lot of like Freddy's and Jason's and... <clears throat> they do what else? Alien figures yep. recently. They do a lot of like... Also do a lot of Gremlins figures. They're the ones that you find for your big film, big film. Gen genres and that. Right. Uh, Diamond Select do things like Star Trek, Ghostbusters. Uh, I think they do other things like um, what else they do? Like uh, I think Gotham, things like that. They've done, they've done X Files recently. Yep. For the new X Files that came out uh, last year. So you know, there's other figures that are out there that people do collect that don't have maybe have the money to collect hot toys or anything like that. So we thought we'd take a wee. We try and talk about some of the other stuff that we do collect. Um, and so I'm collect I do collect NECA at the moment. I'm really enjoying what NECA are doing. This is, uh, for example, some of their cloth figures that they're doing with the window boxes. Really enjoying this. I think this is a really good line. I think they've really nailed this, especially that it's the beginning of last year when they gave us the Home Alone set. I thought that was really incredible. Now they're following that up with Christmas Vacation. Um, definitely, if you have not seen these figures, go on, check them out. Some of them are really good. You get all different ones as well, especially all the older figures with like uh, Escape from New York. Uh, they did some Freddy's some and Freddy's Jason's. And Michael and, Myers as well. Uh, what else did they do? They did us, uh, they gave us, um, or oh, they gave us, what's his name? Uh, Weird Jal Wankovic. They gave us him. Music so they do, they're, they're really, they've really nailed this out. Now, I really like this. I think they should stick to like certain films. Um, you know, like Bill and Ted, never thought we'd ever see a Bill and Ted figure, never thought I'd ever see a Home Alone figure. No. Nope. Um, so I think it should stick to um, a certain a certain line here. But you've got, you've got uh, old NECA figures as well. You've got like figures that you can't get anymore, like uh, Conan. Conan. you got Conan figures. I've got them there up in my, like, my, my, mom, uh, my room, my old room in my mum's. I've got to get them down. Um, I've got... Who else do I have? I've got a Conan. I've got a Conan who is a... I've got the two Conans. I've got the Conan with the sword when he's doing that. And then I've got Conan with the... When he comes in with the battle armor with the spikes on his... On his gauntlet gloves. Yeah. And then I've got the... I've got the Conan when he does that with the sword. But it's a... It's the same Conan. But he's a... He's, Gold, he, like I, he's got bronze, but the only reason he's bronze is because he was he was done like the figures you would get, like for the Star Trek figures and all that, and you know you would get a figure that's like dead clear and see through, yeah. and it's the same figure you're getting, but except he's different, he's clear and see through. That's what that Conan was done. He was done purely for that because he's like a he was like a, he's done in the bronze. So it makes them look pretty cool. So I need to actually fish them out because they're they're in, they're in a bag. Up oh, they're, they're very quite they're quite, quite rare because they were like, like nearly ten years ago. They're ten years, right? Ten years so, ago. So I mean, I mean, there's other figures they did. They did Beetlejuice, which I think their Beetlejuice is a lot better than they also did like two two seven inch Beetlejuices, and they also gave us like a big 
a big uh, quarter. Big. Uh, people just, I think that people just well better than the uh, oh, sideshow. Oh, I still oh. like that people just today, even though that's like that's something like what a seven seven year old figure. Still like that figure. Still like, amazing still, figure. Still look at that can today. Can talk and all that. Get Michael Keaton's voice. Not oh, that. I definitely like that. And then also they have. Uh, you also had. Um, uh, they did the labyrinth. Yep, the did game the was and Jared and, and the, uh, was it Hoggle? Hoggle, yep. So there's other things that I liked from. Uh, they do a lot of <clears throat> Terminator figures, mm-hmm. uh, especially the old Terminator movies, um, one and two, and it's just NECA are a really good company. If you haven't checked them out, go ahead and check them out, guys. They're, they're really doing some really good sculpts, and I. I as much as I like buying hot toys, I don't mind picking up the odd neck if it really is something that I really think mm, it's worth getting. Uh, especially this Clark Griswold. Yep. Uh, who'd have thought I'd ever see a Chevy Chase figure, but here we go. Here we go. Um, so there's other things, I mean, like uh, just collecting hot toys all the time. So sometimes you like to collect other stuff as well. Yep. What about yourself? You're, you're collecting the this, this Star Trek figures, aren't you? I'm collecting the Star Trek figures, which is pretty cool. And, you know, I've, I've got a, a big collection like yourself and obviously I'm missing certain figures that you're missing, you're missing figures that I've got, so I can obviously, you know, still go back and get them and see how much they are and go, yep, definitely going to pick that one up, going to pick that one up and start getting them in, you know. Yeah. Complete, complete collection, kind of, because you completed your Rafa Khan set, so yeah, I well, that was, that was, I'm glad I com- got that. I need to complete that set, so, and then my TV series set, um, I'm not too bad in that, I just need a couple of certain figures and all that, for the mirror set, the original set, and the Voyage Home, and the Kirk and Spock, like Kirk is a Romulan and all that, and a few others, um, the, obviously the one for the Boldly Go, the double pack for the Boldly Go, No Man Has Gone Before. In Star Trek 4. Ah, I said that, the Voyage Home, I said that, I need a few of them, and once I get them, sat complete I kind of wish they still went on with that I know I really do there was a lot of other ones that so maybe Star Trek 3 so it's for Spock maybe the Klingons we might get the Klingons I know, know, I mean? you know what happened to that you know what happened to that yep you know thanks very much for that one yep thanks a lot Chris of a but um, no definitely I like what they're doing I mean uh, Nick have done are doing the uh, definitely they're doing the aliens um, mm-hmm. figure they mm-hmm. did the Ripley. I really like that. They did uh, obviously at Ripley for the first film, the second film, and third film. So it means I think the fourth film should be out next year. We'll see what mm-hmm. she looks like. And then you've got the Queen. They did the Queen. Um, but they're they're doing like talking about like what you were saying about the diamonds. I liked about the Star mm-hmm. Trek figures. They're bringing out a, a can figure. Bringing out a can. Which is like. <laughs> but you can pose you them can on the chair. Stand in the, sitting in the chair like that. His arms folded or. Or just have them sitting on the chair, which I, I wouldn't mind getting that. But is that going to still be similar to those figures, or is it going to be bigger than those uh, figures? I think it's a wee bit bigger. A wee bit bigger. I think it's like it's still worth getting. There's an, you've already got a can eye, okay, but it's still worth getting the fact you can switch bodies and you've got a stat. You've actually got like the chair and the, it's part of the part of the ship. Yep. Where you can st- you can do that famous pose and. Yep. Or you can have them like pointing. Like there she is and that kind of thing. So ah, yeah. I, I, you can pose them in different varieties. I don't, I don't know when that's going to get released, but that's something I would like to pick up. Did you ever get your X Files? I've not, no, but I could, I could pick them up. Um, I they're, could, they're very hard. To I, find. I could pick them up. No, they'll be in there one. I'm sure they'll be still in there one. I'm sure I, if I go in next week, I'm sure I can just pick them up twenty pound each. Pick them up easy because they're definitely worth. I hope they, they give us back the, like the original series for that. Hope they can give us some of that. I can pick them up easy, and then I can all, I can always start on my Ghostbusters. Um, yeah, the, the Ghostbusters. The they, Ghostbusters. They're getting hard because the series, series, series ones, I know, getting, they're not getting them back in there dear now. So they're getting very hard to get. But speaking about Ghostbusters, uh, me and Tom have uh, put our names down for Blitzway. Blitzway Ghostbusters, which is like yeah. this one six scale Ghostbusters, sort of like Hot Toys, very similar to Hot Toys. Yep. But because we don't know what's happened, why Hot Toys haven't got the license to Ghostbusters or something like that. But these look really good. These look really, really good. I'm really excited for these uh, bad boys. The fact that, what was it, Jim says, the fact that it's like a four pack. It's going to be massive. Mm-hmm. And it's going to have like the Ghostbusters sign. 
Fine. Gonna have Slimer. In it. It's going to have a sign. And it's going to have Slimer. And it's going to have a barricade. A barricade. A police barricade. So I, I'm right up the back. Plus, you can actually pose the Ghostbusters with the mad. Where they actually activate their um, their ele- their electronic um, Ghostbusters weapons and all that, and the mad plasma beams that come out, they look so realistic. Oh, can you? It, when you pose it, you see the le- the the beams when they cross the streams. You can actually oh. pose their beams, and they look so realistic. It's like yes, yes, finally something. It's something so good. Um, I'm, and that's what we're looking forward to. I think it would be like next year. And next year, next year it'll be wait, wait next year it'll be comes. into June, July, something like that. You know it'll be. But I'm definitely looking forward to that. Is there anything else that you are looking forward to getting um, outsider? Because you do, you also collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards as well. I got Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, I've got loads of Warcraft cards, which I'm trying to kind of get rid of because I did get into Warcraft for a bit, but Warcraft died after. One of the um, Blizzard games um, come on electronically on um, on your on your Blizzard um, on your Blizzard gaming account. Like you get stream of all the different games that you can play. And there's an electronic War, War, uh, World of Warcraft card game that you can just play electronically, and it was cheap. So Warcraft game kind of died after that came out. The same web. There's a game that I've still got cards of. It was called Versus, which was like X Men against the Brotherhood, which was like Magneto and all that, and Toad and um, Mystique and all that. And then you had Professor X, Wolverine, Cyclops. You had all them. They had cards and had abilities, and you could like you could cost one to activate its effect, and then you could put resources down, activate resources to. Ready your, ready your, ready your um, X Men and all that, and then yeah. you could bring another X Man, X Men on into the, into the back row, and you could make their effects and all that. But then when Warcraft card game came out, that kind of died. But I still got cards, so they probably still be worth kind of a bit of money and all that. So and Yu Gi Oh, I thought kind of Yu Gi Oh was kind of going to die, but Yu Gi Oh still kind of stretching on, man. It's like brought out new tins and all that and new stuff and like it's still going and there's like it, it went through like Yu-Gi-Oh normal monsters and all that and big monsters to effect monsters that could do stuff to ritual monsters to fusion monsters that you could do stuff then after all that um after the rituals and fusions came out then it went to synchros it went to like it went to Yu-Gi-Oh to Yu-Gi-Oh GX, which was like fusions and all that, and then it went to Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds, which was the day with synchros, you bring a tuner, you bring something else on, you synchro them, send it into the graveyard to synchro something for your extra deck, a synchro monster which has effects, then after that went, you had Yu-Gi-Oh, I can't remember what the next generation was called, but you had Yu-Gi-Oh, but it was the day with XYZ monsters, and you've got two monsters that are like level 4, and you've got a monster in your extra deck that says two level four monsters. You could bring the two level four monsters on the field, pop, slide them together as resources, and bring that card for your extra deck, and pop it on top of that. And the two monsters will no longer be monsters; they'll be act as resources. And if you read the X Y Z monster, it'll say toss that X Y Z material to activate this effect. So it went to another generation. So it totally made the game more interesting again. So. It meant people were flooding back to Yugo. It meant Yugo is no dead. Yugo is still alive. So it brought. Well, that's what I'm saying. At least it's good that people are still collecting them. You know. I mean, you, you know, I I, I go to um, Geeker Street in Glasgow, um, which is a cool wee shop, which is just up for thought. And um, you get downstairs, and it's it's just you see tables and all that, and you see people dueling cards and all that, and you just see like just yeah, like, that's so cool. Look at people dueling and and. People come with their folders and that, yeah, they'll like, add to me, um, you got any trades and that, like, yep, here, and they go, here's my trades. And they trust you with their trades, and you go, oh, I'm interested in that, and they go, any cards that are turned upside down, I know for trades, and it's, you see, that's not turned upside down, they're all cool, and then you go, I'm interested in that, so then you pull cards out that you might interest that they've got, and then they go, mm, and they see something that you've got, and they go, I'm interested in that, and then they go, 
swap for swap, and then if they see a card that you might have that might be pricey, you could maybe go at him, you know, I don't really see much um, you've got, and they go up, but I'm willing to sell it if, you know, you're looking to buy it, mm. and I'm, I, I priced it up on eBay for, say, 15 quid, and they could maybe go like that. Aye, yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got money on me, and then they could maybe, and then they could maybe go, you know, I've got 20, have you got a fiver? Aye, sure. And they could go, like, here's a fiver, here's 20, and then you've made a bit of money, profit for just selling one card. That's pretty good. So then you're kind of, you know, you're working it out, and it's pretty good. So. Well, you do, as I said, you kind of need to get your Rafa Khan figures. I need to get my Rafa Khan figures, and I need to get my get TV get series as well. You want to get your McCoy. I want to get McCoy, which is, I told you, you wait for a seller, and there will be a seller selling them, so that's what that's I told you. I can, I can get the McCoy. But uh, what other kind of figures are you looking forward to getting? Um... Well, I get my Batman coming away from Neck and all that. Get my Hot Toys Batman and Michael Keaton on December will be the icing on the cake. That will be so amazing. It'll be the best bit of it. When I get these boys here and I have them next to Rufus, that'll be really awesome because I'll get them posed and all that and I'll send you photos and then you can put them on the channel. What do you think of these uh, mega-style cloth clothing? And they're brown, they're good. And then hopefully they release Home Alone 2 of uh, these. Uh, and then, yes, but Home Alone 2. That'd be good. And then Macaulay Culkin's different. Macaulay Culkin's in New York and he's got his wee hat bonnet. And he's got his wee talk wee radio. Bag. He's got his wee talk radio thing. And he's like, I'm Kevin. I'm McAllister and all that. He's mad thing that he has. And you're like, that's so cool. And then you have Marv and Harry who are different. I know. They'll be different. Also, I need to talk about, you were talking about NECA while we're on the subject. NECA have released this really cool um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mm, yes, yes, oh yes. They Maybe. released the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yes. Was it one fourth scale or I something have like one, that? One scale. Every turtle in one fourth but scale. Tell the audience. Now, it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but what Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, though? What is it from? Well, from the first movie, 1990. From the n first movie, 1990. The best movie, and it's amazing, and the detail of these figures are absolutely outstanding. Now, so far, two figures, two figures have, been have been released, released. so far. Uh, when are you going to get your finger out and get your first? I may order one. I may... Sort my bills, give you money for possibly these, give Jim a deposit, then I might look at it and go, right, I still got a bit of money there, and then I might go, how much is it, and then check with a reasonable price and go, okay, here's some money for it, order it, and then I might just give you money, and then that way, but mate, I'm, give I'm, the money. I kind of wait till you get them, I I, I'm really looking forward mate, to you doing that. I kind of wait till I get Mikey soon, when I get Mikey, I'll be oh. like, I'll be a giddy, I'll be a wee But giddy. you want to collect all four? You want no, all but four? it's when I get Mikey, who's my favourite, that'll be when I'll be like, I've got them as soon as yeah, I have them in my, my hand. Store. I'll be like, I've got, I've got Mikey, my favourite, and I'll just have them like, ah, oh, yes! Just amazing. You and I hope they release a splinter though. Uh, I know. And I hope they release a shredder. That'd be good. So you'd want a shredder, man. You'd want to have shredder and all that. I know. They, they look incredible. And I think it'd be cool if they actually gave shredder with the, the additional, you take his mouthpiece off and you see the scar. I know. Where Splinter scratched him. See if they gave that. They look incredibly detailed. Mate, they, detailed they are amazing, things. aren't they? For a figure, uh, they are. They are not bad for, you know, either not hot toys or anything like that. They're not... A two hundred odd pound figure, but they're still. I mean, they're hundred what, hundred and twenty or something, mm -hmm. twenty twenty nine or something. Oh, twenty nine. Hundred and hundred and thirty figure pound figure, but it's still really good. I mean, the detail on this thing is really good. The nunchucks, the pizzas, and all that kind of thing you get are yeah. absolutely amazing. I yeah. cannot wait to awesome. see these. I really like what Nick is doing with the one four scale. Especially did a they did a Keaton Batman <clears throat> a couple mm -hmm. of years back. Did yep. you see that? I did. They did a Christopher Reeve Superman, mm -hmm. which. Seem to get a lot of attention. People are buying them. They really like that. They also did... Now, I really like this. The penguin. Oh, I know you do. You, I really you. Like I've been... I've, I've actually been thinking about it. Thinking about now, getting it. I talked to you about the first penguin they released. How I wanted to get it from Forbidden Planet. Because it looked amazing. Yeah, it was... Then you, then, you pop, then you pop by, like... I think it was, like, last month or the month before that. Like, Necker are giving us another penguin. I'm like... 
Yeah. What, another payment? Yeah, another payment. I'm like, it's different for the Penguin sign for Ben Planet. I'm like, wow. Yeah. The cool thing about that first Penguin, but it comes with a fur coat. Comes with a fur coat. And, then, and if you and take, you can take coat, it off. You'll have him like in the sewer, what he looked like in the sewer, and then if you have the fur coat on him, so when he's going away to the what is it, the grave, the mm-hmm. graveyard, and goes. But he's got a fish, and he's got what else? He's got like the is it the cigar? Um, Something. I think it is. I think it's a wee cigar, fish, wee cigar, um, hat, obviously, and um. I can't remember what else it is he comes with. But, the, but the new penguin is the penguin, the Oswald Cobblepot, like the penguin is the mayor. The mayor, right? And he's in the black. Yep. I really, really Wood like Looks good, man. I wasn't expecting this new penguin. No, I, soon you sent me a photo, I was like. I thought, oh, well, I did. So when you penguin. sent me a photo, I thought, okay, it's a figure. I was like, is it size or something? You're like, no, it's neck. You just said. This is what NECA is releasing, I'm like... Another penguin. Oh. But I, 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 I'm like, man, that's so cool, that's so amazing. But that's not to put off of people to say, like, st- I'd still get the first one, the first version as well. Ah, probably that. So you could have different versions of penguin. Mm-hmm. Because, like, you know, if they're going to do another one, it would be the penguin when he's dying, he's got the blood coming down, he's like, so awesome. That'd be amazing, that would be cool. But they have, they're also given us a Catwoman of that size as well. Yep. But the only problem is the Batman they gave us from that size was the Batman for the 1999 film. So they've missed out on the Batman from... Why they've jumped to, like, Returns, I do not know why I didn't give a Batman for that. And where the heck's the Joker? The Jack Nicholson Joker at that size would be pretty cool. So that these are what's going to come next. So I'm... And, really, we, I'm, and where's the hell, where the hell's the wee top bit that you put up and you can help them talking? I know. You can help them talking. I mean, you could have you could have Jack Nicholson, you could put up and go... You could have him, like, pose in his outfit and go, You shoot the million those things yet! No, it's a cinema! So that, you can probably be talking and make them have the wee quotes. That was one of the weirdest things about this year that we got Batman Returns figures, right? But they were all over the place. We got the two pack Batman, as we all know, or the single pack Batman from the Hot Toys, Batman Michael Keaton or Bruce Wayne, and you, you can get Batman on his own if you didn't want the Bruce Wayne. We also got this. You also got this, which, this, is, which is awesome. This statue. Which has nothing to do with the Batman that released. It's just a random statue. You also got another statue, which is as big as we also the Batman got a figure that you've got. Big premium format statue. Coming Catwoman of Catwoman. Awesome. But then we get this penguin that's naked, and I'm thinking, I mean, Hot Toys, Batman, with Bruce Wayne, and then you. This is just a statue. The only Catwoman that we got. Yep. We haven't got the big one yet, but that's the normal size Catwoman. Then you put the penguin next to that, which mm-hmm. is a mecha, totally different, all different company. So you've got all these different companies working on different bits of the different figures. And I thought, that's kind of weird. But. Men, you're like, where's the 1989 kind of mecha? Where's the 1989 light? Not Why is that dying? Why, why skip that right to, right to the Batman Returns line? I do not know. I do not know. But, I mean, we can't even grumble. We're getting all this now. We never got it years ago. You want it now. Give us that. But it's, what I want to know as well is I hope they're not finished with the 1989 line with the Hot Toys. You know, I hope they give us something else with well, definitely. I mean, the Hot Toys were the first. They brought us some stat- they brought a statue of the Batman 1989. I thought that was amazing. Mm-hmm. I bought that. Then they released the Hot Toys Batman. I thought it was incredibly detailed. It looked so good. Mm-hmm. Then the Joker followed. Then they gave us a main Joker. Mm-hmm. And then I think because of the... The people who are buying the main Joker are saying, oh, I don't really want it. It's a five sec- five minute scene. I'm not that fussed about a five minute scene. Heck, at least we were getting another Joker, another mm-hmm. Jack Nicholson, which was amazing. At least they changed the head. They did a lot of, a lot of work for a five minute scene. They did a lot of things for that. Then, we get, also get the Batmobile. Mm-hmm. And then in terms of that, nothing. NECA announced that they're getting as a, as a big Batman. They did. 1989, I thought, there's the next Batman 1989 figure. Mm-hmm. They also gave us a miniature one. Oh, they also did the computer game version. Remember mm-hmm. that computer game? Yep. It was purple. I don't yep. know what that was all about. I, I don't know what that was that about. Was, why would they buying these computer game naked did these computer game figures? Like, oh, that was just weird. I know. That was a weird one. I thought, like, I liked the box. I liked the cool box it was in. The Mad Window box. It opened it up and there was a figure inside, but I just didn't like the idea it was a computer game. Oh, it was a computer game, I know. I wouldn't bother with that, but... But I would like the original figure in that box, which would have been pretty cool. Like the original 
version, but they did do original version, but it just it was with the deep the Blu-ray or something like that, exclusive in America. Um, and then nothing, and then they gave us a penguin, randomly, which was pretty cool. But then the Batman doesn't really go with that penguin because it's Batman 1989. But then there's a penguin, and yep. then they gave us this. Which I thought was pretty cool. She looks so good. Aye, she looks really detailed. I thought, I don't want to buy any more statues. I'm done with statues. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't pass on her. Because we don't get that much Batman 1989 stuff. Or Batman Return stuff. So yep. I bought her. And then, I'm kind of really wanting to go and get that penguin. I really do. I might. Screw it. I might just buy it one day. But then you're like, where's the 1989 line? Where's the villain? Exactly. Where's the Joker for why's Neck and all done that? Why? I just don't know what's happening with Returns, why people are buying the license to Returns, but 1999 has been swept under the rug. But yeah, but yeah, it's so funny because back in the day when Returns came out, Returns failed in its sales of selling figures and all that when it came out, whereas Batman 1989 never failed when Hit brought figures out. Hit brought figures out, Hit sold. Returns came out, Burger King tried to sell Catwoman Penguin, it failed. It failed on its put on its selling the figures. Yet as soon as these lines come out and all that, returns sell more than what the nineteen eighty nine. I've like, seen a lot of people with this. How, how's that work out? I know. I don't know. I've seen a lot of people with this necklace like penguin. I've seen a lot of people, and I'm thinking. No. I know I buy. I like hot toys, but I've, something I really like that penguin. I really want. I can't wait for the hot toys penguin or Catwoman, whatever that's coming. Yeah. I don't know when that's coming. I do not know, but I'm like screw it. You know, hot toys are taking too long. Um, I'm just going to go with the Necker Penguin. Um, I like the, the Catwoman. The Catwoman, you can change her head. She's kind of all half... Hair's half, hanging half out of her. See, that's why I went Hot Toys to release. I know. A damaged Catwoman. Look, Necker's bet them. I know. Necker's bet them too. And Necker, that's not the first time Necker's bet figures. They've gave us, like, I know we're getting this... Um, we're getting the Ripley mm -hmm. from Hot Toys. The new version, the 2.0 or whatever. I know we had... A, a, a second Ripley years ago with real hair yeah but Necker's bet them already Necker's gave us the first Ripley which so it's not bad it's not his best um, Sigourney Weaver figure but it still looks cool gave us a second and then they gave us a third mm -hmm. and we still haven't seen the release of that that no. Ripley yet Ripley yet no. still I don't know where she's what's taking her so long and yet she's not got real hair in there, she's got... She's not got real hair, and it's been like over two years, and like, Hot Toys, I love you, but other companies are beating you to it, and uh, you're pulling it at your finger, you know? And if you're going to go and do a Bill and Ted, they've bet you to it already. Ah, they bet you. And that's the thing, they have bet a lot of people, they've bet a lot of people, a lot of companies and figures. I mean, like, why have they not gave us a, a Ash mm -hmm. from Evil Dead? Why has Hot Toys not done that? Side Show's done it. But yet Necker did it years ago. Necker's been doing it for years. Mm -hmm. Why is it no give us, um, as you were talking about earlier, Conan? Mm -hmm. Why Hot Toys not go at Conan and then put the villains? I don't know. I think Necker's just going to sort of beat all these other companies and big companies. I think they're just, just taking over. And it's I've got no problem to them because I'm happy, you know, buying this for... You know, buying one of these figures for 30 quid is a lot cheaper than buying something for two over 200 quid. And uh, I love your hot toys, but you need to step up in your game if you really want to beat the, the, the company. You, if you want to stay in the, stay in the selling exactly. zone, man, you've got to bring out the figures. Exactly. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little special episode. We thought we'd do something different. Um, talk about all the figures that other different companies that we get, just let you guys know uh, uh, what's out there instead of Hot Toys. Um, but there's a lot of different things that you can collect. Um, we're living in a society of collectors today. Um, people are geeking out, collecting all these different fall merchandises. Um, when I started, it was hardly MD ever did it. It was new to people. Mm -hmm. And now today, I'm, I'm collecting more than I ever did. And I'm enjoying what's coming. Um, I can't wait to see obviously my Christmas vacation and um, now uh, can you tell the viewers out there um, who actually is to blame for you starting to collect big high expensive figures oh you <laughs> me which is quite ironic because that's why I'm it was me who um, was up in Glasgow one day and I just stumbled upon this this um, book I think it was just a, a magazine 
and I turned around and it says, um, new, new and exclusive um, detailed um, Hot Toys figures which are scaled to look like the actual actors from the movie and I'm like, look what's coming, wow look at that and all that, that'll be coming soon that. and it was like, it was the Batman from the 1989 that, so we've got to get it and then I, I tell Paul, and Paul had already gone, I, I'm maybe going to see what else they've got, got and Paul saw that there was a Man of Steel, um, Superman, Man of Steel, Christopher Reeve and he went and bought it and when it came in, I was like, okay, he's getting it, but, you know, we've got to make this, we've got to go together and get our first one, because you're actually ordering that, which defeats the purpose, we've got to get one ourselves, which means we're actually getting, you know, that one ourselves, because you're getting that ordered, which, you're like, it doesn't count, I'm ordering it, so it's like, I'm actually ordering it, so it's a well, true. And then we went into Forbidden Planet, and there they were, two Batman 1989 figures, for 200 and odd quid and we just went yep we'll take both of them and we took both of them and we went away to Ruf uh, Rufus Tees didn't we? Yep. And we sat in the wee couching area and yep. we opened them up yep. and we looked at them and we were so impressed yep. with the details and that was it ever since that day boom we just started ordering <laughs> just and buying and <laughs> so that's it guys go out yep. there there's a lot to choose from I'm sure you'll find something you like, mm -hmm. some for them or some, I mean you can even get computer game figures as we were talking about now. You can, yep. Um, so you can get a lot of different, uh, variety of different figures. Uh, so choose the one, if you're a new, a new, new to this um, collecting figures or whatever, choose the things that you like especially, um, because it's worth it in the long run when you've got these to, to look at for, for years to come. Yep. Anyway guys, thanks very much for watching, as always, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.